So whether you're in the broadcast or whether you are um, in the conference, or sometimes you will have people whose pictures won't come up on the screen. First of all, if you're using the conferencer, of course, as we all know, but it bears mentioning because some people are not aware of it, as you have guests coming on to the conferencer in your audience, you do have to right-click on the names of the person that you want to bring up and make them an attendee or a moderator. Typically, unless the person is going to be utilized as somebody that can uh, facilitate the transferring of people on and off screen, um, you want to make them an attendee. Um, if you have someone like myself or Brian Gibbs or Dana, go ahead and, um, or Will, go ahead and make them a moderator. Kind of gives them a little bit more control. Um, but either way, you just right click on the name and you bring them up. Now let's just say they, they don't come up um, and you're like, well, why won't they? Well, the first thing is make sure they're using Google Chrome. First rule. Don't use Internet Explorer. Firefox is all right, but Google Chrome works the best. If you're in a Mac, um, you know, try using Safari. Um, if you're able to get Google Chrome, that would be best. So up at the top by your HTTP bar, sometimes it's so big you can't see it, but it's an allow and deny button. Make sure they click allow. And... Um, Sometimes it's just so big, like I said, you can't see it. Then have them right-click on their um, picture, and sometimes this I little box will automatically show up, and you got to get it off of the microphone, otherwise it'll uh, uh, make all that noise. But have them go to the second tab, which is the computer screen with the little eyeball that I call it, and make sure allow and remember are checkmarked, okay? Now, if they've already hit close, just have them right-click and bring it to settings. The next thing that I do is I go to this camera button. Now, if the screen is still blank, you want to do the drop-down box right here. And even if this camera, which is the one I have on my computer, is showing, I still want to re-click on it. And you'll notice it had a pause there because it was activating it. And sometimes you got to be stupid with the computer. Then you want to go ahead and go over to the microphone. And I'm going to do this quick because it makes noise sometimes. But you want to make sure that the, um, that the uh, what is it called, the reduce echo is uh, checkmarked. And then sometimes, just sometimes, if their voice is still not coming through, you want them to grab the little toggler, which is this, and just move it up and down and leave it back at the reduce echo section in the middle, right? Then ultimately hit close. Now, sometimes, even after adjusting all of that, it would still behoove you to hit refresh. But typically, those are the different ways to troubleshoot um, visual and audio for our cameras. Um, some of those things need to be done every single time because some people have their browsers set to go ahead and um, um, clear their cache every time they close out a browser. So if the cache is being cleared out, well, you got to re-remind your camera. So, and this is not a play, no, this video is not about clearing your cache or anything like that. Maybe I'll do one on that. It's a, probably be a 30 second video. So, anyways, have a great day. This is just a little tip. You want to do this before you bring anybody into your conferencer to your own camera. Just make sure all those details are done. Talk to you soon.